Hello and welcome to Samples for Schools Eye Dissection. Today we're going to be dissecting two pig eyes and we're going to be looking at the structures that make up the eye organ and how it's used for bending and refracting light to create an image. So when you receive your sample, you'll notice on the eyes there will be a layer of skin, fat tissue and muscle fibres. And you'll be able to see on the underside where the optic nerve joins, which transmits the nerve signals to the brain. You'll find it easier for your sample if you cut off any excess fat and tissue before you start your dissection. So when you look at the eye sample, you'll see the tough outer layer called the cornea. Now this is a protective layer for the eye, which when the animal is living, it will be translucent, but it will start to look cloudy in your sample. The white section of the eye, the sclera, that's also a tough protective coating to maintain the integrity of the eye. And we are going to cut into this sclera to look inside to find the retina, the lens, and look at the iris and the pupil in more detail. So our first cut is going to be straight into the white, the sclera, and we should notice some liquid will start to run out. Now this is an incredibly tough connective tissue, so it may take a little bit of manipulation to make that first cut. Now as you can see, some liquid will start to come out, and this is going to be a combination of aqueous humour, which is mainly water, and vitreous humour, which is the more jelly-like substance. And both of these are used to maintain the spherical shape of the eye. You're going to take a cut around the entire sclera, the circumference of the eye, so that you will end up with your eye in two halves. The cornea at the front half and the optic nerve in the back half. Now the aqueous humour and the vitreous humour would be translucent, but in the sample that you are dissecting, it's peppered with what are black retinal light sensitive cells. These are the rods and the cones that help us detect light and colour in our vision. So here you can see we have the vitreous humour, the jelly-like substance, and the aqueous humour, the watery substance. So once we've cut our eye in half around that sclera and we have the front back sides separate, we can see the pupil on the underside of the front eye. Now the pupil is that hole that lets light through and the cornea will bend that light as it enters the eye. Now the amount of light that enters the eye depends on how big that hole is and that's the job of your iris, the coloured part of your eye that you can see. Now the iris is a muscle that can contract and get smaller in order to change the shape and the size of that hole. Since it's a muscle, you should be able to peel off the whole of your iris and examine it. Now we have the eye separated. Within that vitreous humour, the jelly substance, you should be able to find your lens. And the lens looks like a flattened, squished marble. And that's because it's flexible. It can bend and retract in order to refract the light and focus the image we want on our retina. Now you would be able to collect your lens rinse it out to remove it from any vitreous humour and see how well it magnifies. So for example, I'm just going to rinse this one now and see if we can use it. So here we've got the lens. It's sat in a little puddle of jelly-like substance, which is the vitreous humour. But the lens here is like a flattened marble. It's a flexible disc and you can just see the magnification as it's sat on the text. So the remaining things you'll be looking for in your eye dissection are the suspensory ligaments and ciliary muscles. And these are what are going to contract and relax in order to change the shape of the lens and to give that image on the retina. So if you want to focus on something that is close to you, those muscles contract and the lens becomes thicker. If you're focusing on an image that is far away, then those muscles relax and the lens becomes much thinner. And that's why that lens has to be flexible. If you'd like more information on our eye dissections, then check out our website, Samples for Schools, and see our lesson plans and risk assessments. Thank you for watching.